For today's project, we're going to make a poor man's router plane using this piece of scrap pine. It's 220 mils by 75 by 30 mils. This old chisel is going to act as the blade. The first thing you need to do is to find the center of your pine board. When you have the center found, just mark a line straight across with your square. Mark a point 30 mils in from the back of your router plane. The next step is to drill the hole that's going to accept the chisel. Use a drill bit that's slightly smaller than the width of your chisel. I'm going to set the angle of the blade in this router plane at about 45 degrees. From what I've read, between 40 and 50 degrees is the best angle to use. I'm just using the speed square to give myself a rough guide to the 45 degree angle. Before I start the drill, I already made a little pilot hole just to make it easier to get started. You need to keep the drill as steady as you can and try not to go to either the left or the right, or else your chisel will be off when you put it into the router plane. The next step is to put the chisel into the hole, bevel down. Make sure the chisel goes in straight and isn't tilted to the right or to the left. Use a mallet to tap it home. Mark out a dado joint to test out the router plane. Okay, so on that test, it worked fairly well. The dado came out all right, but the chisel itself moved a few times. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill another hole in from here at about 45 degree angle as well. And I'm gonna use a bolt like this, just to jam the chisel in there to make sure it doesn't move anymore. Now the chisel feels like it's in there nice and snug. I've cleaned out another dado. I'm just going to back off the bolt here. Loosen it. Then just give the chisel a few taps until it's set to depth. and just tighten it back up. Now 
It's working much better than last time because the chisel's not moving. I'm just going to turn the board around to finish off the rest of the data. Okay, so let's try and finish off this one now. So the blade is set to the depth. So all in all, I think I did a fairly good job. The bottom of the dado is nice and level. The chisel didn't move anymore because the bolt was stopping it from moving. It jams it into place nicely. So for a tool that's basically made of a scrap piece of wood, an old chisel and a bolt, I don't think you can go too wrong and it's a bit of crack to make your own and actually use it to make a dado or some other type of joint. So maybe give it a try yourself and see how it goes.